Hey guys, um, I had a request or two for a lighting video of my new setup. Um, first we have a, uh, we'll go over the siren, it's the 295 HFSA1, uh, 200 watt siren. We've got one speaker hooked up to it right now. This might be replaced pretty soon with a PA300. I have a Carson Mechanical uh, SC1022 Volunteer Siren, which has two lighting controls, which I use. And it also has a mechanical tone, which I use. So I run a uh, one standard whale yelp tone, and then I run the other speaker with a uh, mechanical style tone. Um, currently right now on L1, or lighting one, I have two red grill lights, which you can see here. These are sound off LED threes. And then I'm also running a sound off uh, 475, four head 75 watt strobe pack. I got one in each uh, turn signal light in the front. And then in the rear, I have them in the reverse lights just because it's brighter. Then I also have my sticker back here, fire interceptor. On light two, I have my pride and joy. It is a Wheelin Mini Liberty 22 inch. It is running uh, four 12 LED corners in red, uh, two 500 series LEDs in each alley light cutout, which are synchronized. And then I have a split red red 500 in the center. Uh, all of them are on a, uh, a quint or a quad flash pattern. I have the ability to pull a couple of wires out the bottom and change all the flash patterns at random, so I could have them all in different flash patterns. This is the one I found is most effective. Um, the four corners are synchronized in the X because they're on the ULF 44 flash pad or the uh, flasher. The uh, two uh, 500 series and the alley lights, those are self-contained, so I just have those wired together. And then the 500 series in the center, uh, I just have it on a split quad flash, and that is uh, on its own. If I get another 500 series, I'll probably put it in the rear. I might get an amber, or I might get a uh, solid white for the front and put that uh, uh, red that was in the front, put that in the rear. Which now that I think about it, it would be pretty easy. All I have to do is put it in the rear and flip the bar around. But uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Altogether, it's only about uh, 15 amps total. The bulk of that being from the strobes. Um, the siren is capable of handling up to 25 amps continuous. Uh, the cool thing about the siren is it requires a remote activation, which I have on this switch here. So when I turn this switch off, if you watch here, it turns your siren off and it turns your lights off. So then you can turn it back on and you can hit those, turn them on, and turn them off there. So it's two switches and then two buttons to turn everything on. But to turn everything off is turn off the wheel and siren, turn off the Carson siren. Um, I also have a uh, Radio Shack Racetrack Pro, whatever model scanner this is. I have it sitting in here. Um, I got rechargeable batteries in it, so it sits here and charge up so I can take it wherever I need it. And then I uh, have it plugged in while it's in the car. Works pretty good. I usually keep the light on when it's darker out. Um, and then I also have a, uh, a Garmin GPS in here for whenever I get lost. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is all my current lighting setup. Uh, pretty sure it's going to stay this way for a while um, and it works for me it's very effective if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and post them down below in the uh, comments section or send me a message take care guys